Welcome to the van. <laughs> Welcome to the van. Um, this is my van, doesn't have a name yet, but if you want to see how we went from this completely shell of a vehicle to what we've got now for um, only 15 bucks in about 10 hours, um, watch the rest of the video, it should be all right. All right, catch you later. Hey, my name's Matheson Brown. Wait for those freaking noisy ass birds to get out of here. Hey, my name's Matheson Brown. Um, I'm 22 years old. I just bought this van. I'm about to convert it into a um, van I can live in. So I thought the first thing I'll do is I'll cut a hole in the roof for ventilation. Wait, why would I cut a hole in the roof of my perfectly good waterproof van for? If I want ventilation, I could just open the window. I can tell you right now, this isn't going to be like the van build videos you've already seen. Welcome to the realest van build video on the internet. Let's get started. Yikes! <laughs> Understand that I'm gonna come across as sounding pretty mean to a lot of you guys and I understand that there's a lot of people out there that are willing to spend four thousand dollars on the interior of their van they want to have a shower in there they want to have a little bit of decorative wood going on and that's totally fine if that's you go for gold but that's definitely not what this video is about this video is about trying to show the average Joe how van life is so much more accessible than it's been made to seem on Instagram Facebook and YouTube so with that said let's get into it so we're heading on down to the building site just down the road See if we can find ourselves a little, little bit of something good, something that might help out with the van build, and um, free. something a little bit free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can see at least one skip bin from here. It's all about looking inconspicuous and you're like not drawing any attention to yourself, so it's important to sneak. Oh, I hurt my neck. Time to sneak. <laughs> got one more piece we'll have to get. So yeah, we'll just head back, grab the quad bike, pick out what we got, and then head back. We should be able to build a whole van out for free. <laughs> well, we're not having to spend any money on the wood. We can even recycle the freaking nails. <laughs> So right at the moment we've got our two posts both bolted to the wall. <laughs> then we've got our first beam which is bolted to both those posts which sits just above the wheel arch to make it extra secure. Okay so we had to go to the store and get some more screws yesterday because we ran out. And now we're putting our extenders in to make it so it reaches the full length of what the bed's going to be. This is just tidying that off now. And then we're going to chuck across all of our, um, our runners that the bed will actually sit on. I think we're going to need one more. Well, I know. Just where we can find one. So these um, second hand pieces of wood are all good. This one's got a couple of nails through it though, so we got to... We gotta get the nails out before we can use the wood. But I mean, if we wanted to, we could just recycle the nails. You just gotta try and get them as straight as you can and then punch them down backwards out through the wood. Oh, 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 no, I'm just kidding, but you should totally wear goggles. <laughs> Cycle this. Now, nah, get that air, I'll show you. Oh, you're gonna flatten it in the vise. Yeah, and then you just pinch it. This guy over here. Pinch it in the vise. You just give it a quick squeeze. A little tap. It's good as new.
Sometimes the pieces of wood you're working with might be a little bit too short. If that's the case, just lie one beam on top of the other and screw them together. The more parts you have overlapping, the sturdier it's going to be. So we're just installing the, the runners now, uh, which is the frame that the bed's going to sit on because the ply is pretty thin, so we had to put quite a lot of runners across. So we're putting the runners in now, and then the whole plywood will just sit right on top and um, hopefully they're pretty sturdy. So people wonder why I don't like my cat that much. Like I'm not mean to him, I just don't really like him that much. Well, I'll tell you why I don't like it that much. He's shit in my car. Nah, that cat's been in here and he's... Ah, oh, dirty, dirty bastard. The cat should be cleaning this up, not me. Get out of here, gone. It's, nah, I'm not playing with him. He looks so happy. Okay, so we just finished bolting down the bed. Um, so the, the flat piece of ply, the three jigsaw flat pieces of ply, we just bolted, um, screwed them all down to the runners. So now we've got our whole bed top, which is super solid. Now we're just working on the shelving unit, which is gonna, um, the chili bin's gotta fit under there, the cooler or whatever you wanna call it. Then we want one more box to fit under there. And then kind of like the little cubby with a cooktop or a like desk. Doesn't look like it's gonna take that long. So yeah, it's all coming together. Should be done pretty soon. Quite late. Yeah. Welcome to um, Pimp My Ride on a tight, tight budget. Where we pimp rides on pretty much no budget. Come this way, let me show you. That's not my car actually. We should probably be careful with that. Um, here it is. It's pretty good. Don't mind the sawdust, we'll clean that out. Um, so here we got the bed. Which has got absolutely nothing but restful sleeping. Okay. Underneath it. We've got room for anything you want to put under there. Preferably long things or dead things. Underneath here fits your, um, it's a chili bin, all your cold goods go in there. While you sit here and pretend to do your homework. I don't do my homework, as you can tell. Nice tabletop here. If I did cooking at all, which I don't, this is where I'd do it. And if I um, wanted to use my laptop, which I don't own yet, I'd put it up here too. In here we've got a cubby with no back um, so that you can put things through that little hole. Dude, that's pretty much it to be honest. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Cost us $15.90 to do the whole thing and it took us about 10 hours. So we really should have done it a bit quicker. But I mean, we had to steal all this wood. I mean, um, we had to recycle all this wood. So that took us a little bit of time. Let's get out of here, it's not actually my van. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, we managed to beat him down in price again. I wanted 60, I told him we'd give him 40, he said 50 and it's a deal, I pulled out 50 bucks and bang, we've got a bed for the next 7 months. It's perfect! So there it is, super basic but super practical and perfect to live out of for the next seven months while we film this New Zealand section of the Chasing Vertical project. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and um, catch us on Instagram or Facebook. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you later.